Let's take a look at the LED lights or traffic lights on the MEX-5. So we have the MEX-5 and a wood sample here. I'm gonna turn the meter on. We're in the wood setting. Now I'm gonna go into shallow depth because the sample we're testing is about three quarters of an inch thick. The shallow depth reading will go approximately three eighths of an inch deep. So we're gonna get just material in the read here as opposed to the standard wood setting, which goes about an inch and a quarter. Now, when taking a reading on this material, you see I'm getting a green traffic light here. The traffic light system is displayed below the Tramex logo, indicating green for readings below 14%. So at 10.9 here, we know we have a low moisture reading. Now this sample here, again, we have the meter set in wood shallow and I'm getting a reading indicating yellow on the traffic light. Yellow light is gonna indicate for readings from 14 to 17.9%. Now we have another sample here, still set in the wood shallow setting, and you can see that I'm getting a reading and that's giving us a red indication. So any, any reading above 18%, is gonna give us a red indication showing us that we have high moisture. For the comparative or relative scales, the breakdown is green zero to 35, yellow 36 to 51, and red 52 to 99. The traffic lights will also work with the pin attachment. So here I'm gonna connect with the bayonet connector, a pin probe. This is the heavy duty handheld pin probe. And I had previously set the meter for Scott's pine as we have a piece of pine here that we're gonna test. So we insert the pin into the wood following the grain again. So we're gonna go along with the grain is going up and down. So my pins follow that grain. When I get the pins inserted here and wait for the number to stabilize, you can see we're getting a green light showing us that we have a dry reading here. So here we have another sample I'm gonna test and I'm suspecting there's some moisture in this. Again, I'm inserting with the grain. And you can see here that we're getting a yellow light indicating caution. Here we have another sample. So again, when I insert the pins with the grain, and we see we have a red light indicating high level of moisture. The traffic lights with the pin probe attached also work for other building materials, such as drywall, OSB and plywood, gypcrete, or in the WME or wood moisture equivalent setting. You can find the limits here or in the user guide. Another way you can use the traffic lights are in the baseline reference, which you can find in the advanced feature. So if we go back into the menu here, and go into the settings option. We're gonna choose advanced features and we see the first option here is the baseline reference. So I'm gonna push the center button here to turn it on. We'll back out of the menu. And now you can see over on the left side of the screen that there's this baseline feature turned on. So what this does, you can see the lights are indicating green and yellow. That's gonna be the default mode. When I take a reading with the meter here to set the baseline, I'm going to press the pause button, which you see is indicated at upper left. It paused my reading. Now I press the center button and you see it turned that reading of 13.3 into my baseline. You can see currently I'm getting red because now it's giving me a reading a little bit above that as I move the meter down. So you see we're above 13.3. That's just giving us a friendly nudge to understand that we've gone above the baseline limit and we should be conscious of that. When I'm not above my baseline, so my original reading was 13.3, I'm not above the baseline here, so I get a green and yellow indication. And that's gonna show at any number that's equal to or below the baseline. As soon as I go above the baseline a little bit, then you can see I get a red indication with the yellow. 
So basically in this setting, it's just a red or green indication that you're looking for to show if I'm above or below the baseline. The traffic lights for the baseline reference will work with other settings as well besides the wood setting. Another use of the LED indicators or traffic lights is with the Delta T setting, which we find in psychrometrics. If we go to the menu here, the third option is psychrometrics. And the first option here is Delta T. Now this is utilizing the infrared thermometer on the base of the meter, which is taking a surface temperature. So you see that's giving a reading in the top left of the screen here. Now Delta T again is the surface temperature minus the ambient dew point. So we see across the bottom are the readings from the hygrometer giving us temperature relative humidity, dew point, and grains per pound. So this number displayed on the screen is showing us how many degrees our surface temperature is above the ambient dew point. The traffic lights will indicate green for 10 or more degrees above the ambient dew point. Yellow from 5.1 to 9.9 .9, and below 5 will give a red indicator.